Hello and welcome to this special interview where we have with us Mr. Mohan Parasaran, Additional Solicitor General of India, the person whose arguments and legal interpretation is being keenly watched by Union of India because he is representing Union of India in the Supreme Court in the high profile Ambani Brothers dispute that is currently underway. Mr. Parasan, thanks a lot for speaking to us. Thank you. I know this is one of the first interviews in your second stint as ASG. To begin with, if I could ask you, do you once for and all want to set the record straight on what is the government's stand on this entire Ambani Brothers dispute in the Supreme Court? Because we have seen a lot of affidavits, counter affidavits, SLPs being filed. So what is the final stand? Let the outset, uh, uh, I may clarify that the matter is now sub judice before the Honorable Supreme Court. Therefore, I can't uh, speak too much on the merits of the matter. But uh, I have repeatedly said that the government of India did seek to intervene in the Bombay High Court only in view of the fact that there was an interim order which virtually restrained supply of gas from the KG D6 basin and we wanted to lift that interim order and we were able to assist the court and the court had passed an interim order which paved the way for distribution of gas according to governmental policies and priorities. So now just as you rightly touched upon the Bombay High Court part of it, the one difference that we find in, or the major one that the government wants to put in the Supreme Court is they are gone to the extent of saying kindly make the MOU null and void if at all it is affecting the government interest. Now why this extreme stands at this point of time because this was never said in the High Court arguments. See you were present in Bombay. In the Bombay High Court the said MOU came up for the first time for consideration before the division bench. But let me also clarify, the MOU is a private family arrangement and it is not the desire of the government to knock off or challenge the validity of the MOU in the Supreme Court of India and seek for a declaration that the entire MOU is lock, stock and barrel, null and void. We are actually seeking to clarify this position by saying that the no private arrangement or an MOU can override the governmental policies with regard to utilization of gas and regulation of gas and possibly that application should be filed shortly. So now when you meant clarify, does that mean the application that government is planning would involve only clarifying this particular aspect or it would be like an intercalatory application that government would be putting into the Supreme Court? See, the matter is still under discussion. But uh, if you normally envisage a situation, it can only be done by an interlocutory application. Another aspect which I would like to point out is that uh, the copy of the MOU was never filed with the government's SLP. And uh, without filing a copy of the MOU, Certainly, technical objections would be raised that we can't actually seek to challenge the validity of the MOU, even in part. Therefore, to that extent, we are seeking for an amendment of the prayer in the special petition.